Coming from Tri-State, we got DeBuzz. And from Mexico, we got MK Leo. Two of the competitors that we have seen so many times on the stream. And meeting here in winter, winter semifinals um, here in Port St. Lucie, you guys, is going to be so crazy. I'm, I'm just, like, still catching my breath. I've lost my voice. No, I was, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was like, yelling my mind off. It's, it's a good thing to note that, basically, MK Leo now lives in CFL. Yes. So can we list off right now who lives in CFL? That would be Zero, MK Leo, Mewtwo King, Salem, uh, Wizzy, Plup, that's Scrub Hungrybox. A lot of people <laughs> live in Central Florida now, and just it's so perfect now just for like people to grind, to understand matchups, and overall to get really, really good. And we're going to see right now if MKLeo can do it against the Buzz going into the first match of our top eight. Yeah, if CFL were to bring an army, count me out of that fight because I'm not looking to pick any fights here. And MKLeo actually displaying his Ike a lot on his own personal stream and really showing people what Ike down till below the ledge, Nair comboing into everything. We're talking about how Nair just like does everything for me, does my taxes, just <laughs> sets up myself for everything, sets you up for up air, back air. Um, and we've been seeing MKLeo do these crazy comebacks, especially in his most recent set with 8-Bit Man. Yeah, there's a very few things that Nair can't do. And one thing we saw was it was actually down 2-0 versus 8-Bit Man, then held it together, waited for the right openings, no matter how much he was getting, you know, projectiles thrown at him. And we're going to see hopefully the same thing right now against the Buzz. The Buzz is playing Palutena. We're going to see a lot of that neutral be against it, but we're also going to see a lot of the fact that he can snap the ledge right there, just push right back on, and it's really, really safe. So if the Buzz wants to get in on him, he has to sort of predict where he's going to be. Yeah, it could be really scary, too, if the Buzz um, actually gets caught with his recovery by the ledge. Um, if MK Leo's right there to get ready for the down tilt, but he's struggling right now on landing. DeBuzz doing a really good job by keeping him in the air. And as I just said, that Leo reversing the situation, keeping him at the ready with his nair. See, try to go for that fair. And so much of this neutral is basically this neutral air is being thrown in shield as Leo takes a huge side tilt to take the first duck versus DeBuzz. Yeah, you saw he was ready. He just stayed stationary. He just didn't want to overextend at the same time. He saw where DeBuzz was going to be and managed to take it with a forward tilt. I love that down throw up air. So it's a good bread and butter. Even if you miss, you can come down with a falling nair. It's still going to cover it. It's no problem. And he actually up smashes. That was amazing timing on that up smash coming from DeBuzz from the side. And he was ready to see. He's trying to even this out. He's trying to cover it, but it was actually the residual hit, right? The very sort of peak of it, but a back here will answer to even up the match right now. And that's something to note with Palutena. Her shield in general, from her dash attack, her back air, is actually invincible, so it's really hard to contest That's it. right. And right now we're seeing, will DeBuzz be able to avoid these crazy openings from one down tilt? It's amazing what Leo can find. The Nair to open it on the shield pressure. Nair to back air coming out. You saw how he tried to clip that with a down tilt, but he gets the Nair into Ooh. back air, but we DI those Great. at 110%. The Buzz is still living. Great DI from the Buzz. He's trying to go from Nair opening again, but I think Leo is catching on. He's pressured the ledge right now. Will he come back? So you see this safe pressure coming from Leo. He was trying to drift back with it, but the Buzz was just slightly out of that spacing for him to contest as well. And right now they're waiting for each other. DeBuzz knows any strong hit can kill him right here. He's going to play it safe. Wants to wait for a certain grab right there. A backer to come down. Well, like the empty hop, notice that he's not trying to overextend. He's, res he's respecting Leo right there, but Leo caught his jump with the up tilt. Right now, DeBuzz sort of has to understand, this isn't your, you know, typical sword from Smash 4. This is a whole new breed of Ike. This man is buffed up. He has been given the great treat by Nintendo, and you can see right <laughs> here, there is no problem for him. He says you can go on the ledge, above me, behind me, or anything. I can still find you. Yeah, this man says he fights for his friends, so you can already see how he mixes up on the shield with the Nair, and very safe pressure, but unfortunately, whiffing that graph, DeBuzz is going to get a lot out of it. We're waiting right now to see what can he find off this Nair. And it looks like right now he's understanding, okay, I can't grab this Palutena at the ledge. I'm letting him come back and snap back. The moment he gets on, he's getting grabbed. No problem. And this problem. is the pressure from Leo. Every time Leo recognizes that his opponent is at a disadvantage, he knows how to capitalize Ooh! on the defensive play, getting the up air. Yikes. Man, that's got to hurt. That was actually a two-stock from uh, MK Leo, staying underneath 100%. And he's kind of right now showing, even if it's a floaty character and he has to slow, slow it down a bit, given the fact that he just played 8-bit man, I think he's ready for it. Yeah, th that's what I was mentioning earlier on. Like, MK Leo, as a player, he knows when he sees that like, he's up a stock, when he knows that like, he has you in a position where you're constantly trying to be defensive, he's going to take advantage of that. Notice how he kept pressuring DeBuzz's shield, spacing out with very good aerials, trying to drift back, see what DeBuzz does. But since DeBuzz was stuck in shield a lot of the times, he was able to actually get away with that by getting a grab and pre putting that pressure on DeBuzz further. Very true, but the real play here was the fact that... <laughs> <laughs> the Buzz switched to Olimar and then put on Flower Field 
on the Yoshi's <laughs> Island is stage. Because you know he's going to pluck out right now. Some Flower Pikmin. <laughs> DeBuzz is trying to get the early mental mind game in there. But we're going to see right now. Everyone, of course, knows that Olimar, probably the character that has received from Palutena, the highest buff so far in Smash Ultimate from Smash 4. We know for the fact that he can use those up Smash, sm uh, smash attacks in quick concession and throw projectiles without any single problem. Yeah, Olimar in this game has just absolutely been a menace, I would say. I, I, I know DeBuzz has been playing a lot of Palutena, but watching his Olimar in general has been so pressuring and, and seeing how he mi mixes up his playstyle. It's very similar to how we saw his Rosalina in Smash 4, but from a different point of view. And Leo getting back, sending DeBuzz in a really bad spot just with that oh. last hit of his recovery. Oh, oh my gosh, that was He tries to get the downer spike. Leo was going for the upbeat on the angle, but Yoshi's Island Brawl is one of those strange stages with a diagonal angle on the downbeat, so you have to be really careful to not mess with Ike's recovery here. He will take you down with you. And a down air, and it's not going to kill quite yet, but he's going to come back. Yeah, it's not off to the side. Oh! You see the patience coming from DeBuzz, but he manages to make it back to center stage. And that right now, I'm going to call that early on, that's the MK Leo. That going down there, reverse <laughs> up being, because he has been killing everyone right now as he takes an up air, quickly taking advantage of Olimar's super lightweight to kill him right around 100, I feel. Yeah, cracking that helmet while he's at it too. And you see, he's trying to actually get rid of the Pikmin, dealing a good amount of damage on him. But at 152, Ike is also a big boy, but he's not big enough to avoid How? getting KO'd still. Did he live at 155 for purple? He's a big boy. Sakurai, I'm gonna call him. <laughs> Got him on speed dial, man. <laughs> So he tried to get. He tried to go for the grab using the blue Pikmin there. Right. Uh, the blue Pikmin actually, uh, when you get the grab with the blue Pikmin, you can actually get uh, KOs earlier on with the grab. And notice how right now Leo is looking for that really early low back here, but Almar's short. He's a shorty. Oh, de definitely. He could be a little peeping to hit, especially if you're doing full hop. But that up smash is gonna take it. Uh, that was actually an up throw from the blue oh, Pikmin. Up throw, sorry. Yeah. Yes, the up throw. And for those first time viewers, the blue Pikmins are by far the best for doing grabs, yeah. gra grabs and kill throws. Okay, good nair to back here. That's the new bread and butter for Ike. He's gonna try to come back, snaps to ledge, but unfortunately, the buzz on the end of that stick, that golden thick stick, which Leo has had no problem throwing out. And I like the respect from DeBuzz too. He gave that head nod, you know, the competitive head nod, recognizing what he did was very unsafe there, and Leo capitalizing off of it from being underneath the platform and applying that pressure. You see that back hit of Nair landing. Double Nair into the Miss Forder, and notice that DeBuzz did switch characters, but he seems to be encountering the same problem here. No matter how small he is or how many projectiles, Leo just is waiting for him to do something a little too risky, get a little too close, and then take advantage of that Nair! Is that a kill? It will be! Leo goes up 2-0 in the set! Very convincing 2-0 at that. And HBox, you were talking about how Olimar is actually a really light character, and we Super saw that right there, displayed in DeBuzz's very last stock, dying basically at like 91% off the side. Leo is just constantly on top of DeBuzz by the ledge, throwing out those Nairs. You know, right. I, you know those Nairs actually kind of low-key remind me of Cloud Nair from Smash 4. Oh, it does, actually. The way that it goes behind him as well. I mean, it's always it's done that, but the way it, it's so fast and he can land basically almost lavishly <laughs> with it. You know what's something really fun to note is that every single super light character in this game, Puff, Olimar, you know, Pichu, whenever they get hit by something really hard, the animation on their face is just heartbreaking. It is actually heartbreaking. Puff has the tears. <laughs> Pichu looks like he's been told that some really bad news at the hospital. And then Olimar's, <laughs> Olimar's helmet cracks! That's it's actually kind of messed up, man. It's, it's, <laughs> it's so messed up. But that's what it is. You cannot be light and you cannot get hit by something very, very hard to buzz. Going back to his roots, which is not Rosalina, but in this game, Palutena. He thinks he's going to have a better chance here. He did do better technically with Palutena. And I think what he's opting for here, now that he's gone to Pokemon Stadium, is using these side platforms, these staircase Nair combos. He doesn't want to go for the kills. It's simple hits here and there. That's what he has since Smash 4, since using that Rosalina, has specialized in. Yeah, you can see how he's using Nair uh, by the platform just to apply this pressure. I mean, he's basically done all this percent um, with Nair alone. See, You see the explosive flame coming out to try to pressure Leo off stage, but Leo going for the high recovery, not letting himself get edge guarded. Only 9% taken so far, misses that up air. That might have, I'm not sure if that would have killed, but it would have gotten him very high into the ground. Leo starting a down tilt and then getting a forward air, but not much else off of it. Oh, but now DeBuzz having a little problem of his own landing. Seems to be the reverse situation. You see one or the other always uh, keeping the other at a disadvantage, especially up in the air. Do you, do you feel the buzz, sort of the fact that you can now sort of do directional air dodges in this game? He's going to try to take advantage of that a little more this match. 
Yeah, you saw he was trying to fish for the up air too earlier on. I mean, if you got one up air, oh my goodness, but then air, you see the direction of air dodge as you just called it right there. Just like when I see an air, I'm like, oh, that's a stock. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> okay, wait. Oh, he went for a super low recovery, almost caught the buzz in that spike, but the buzz says, I'm not going to make that same mistake twice. Yeah, the buzz actually was going to contest it at the very climax of Ike's uh, recovery and try to actually down air him. Yep. But just like Sakurai adding in while Luigi, he changes mind last second. The Nera kill! And it won't oh be enough. Oh my goodness, whoa, 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 but he does whoa, whoa, whoa. not manage to make it back. It was not worth it at that point. Quite unfortunate SD coming from the buzz, but Leo is a okay. Oh, what was that? I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes when you see an instant happen, I, I'm pretty sure he obviously did not intentionally try to go for the Kamikaze there, as we uh, would see from an another character. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like right now, I can especially Krom, you sort of go for that up B, and you can choose last second. Do I want to hold back a little bit, spike him down with me, or do I want to go back to the stage? But as we can see, the buzz is doing a little better this game and finding these Nair openings. Four in a row. Five? I was going to say, even though he didn't cross up Leo's shield with the Nair, he still was managed to DI away from him <laughs> with the up air. The up air, that Xbox. Was, that wasn't even like the hard like red glow hit. That was just a soft little, yeah, it's starting up air. But I am Ike. I will kill you at that percent. You are just a green-haired floaty, and I'm going to do whatever I can to kill you as low as possible. The Buzz getting a little flustered right now, rushing in just a little more, but I think Leo is reading that, trying to take advantage of it. But getting that um, side B up above his ledge. Oh. See, he tries to go for the ledge right there. The Buzz almost trying to get the up smash, as we saw in that first game. What's the name of that thing from Power Rangers? The big, uh, the big face in Power Rangers? The big face. <laughs> what's, what's the name? I'm so young that I don't even <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm old, but I'm forgetting the name. Anyways, that's Palutena's up smash. I'm trying to remember the name. He seems to be able to use it right now, but again, that strong first hit of that big glowing up smash still hasn't quite gotten the hit yet. Not really working for the kill for his favor. No, but with Leo throwing out these spaced out fares on the platform, covering so much space, it's so ah, intimidating. It getting around from here. Yep, and to the back air. Almost trying to go for the down air. How is he going to get in? He's trying. You can see he's struggling. That's why you saw the bus stay in shield for a bit to see if he could just do near out of shield. Oh! Gets the down tilt by the ledge after the buzz ran out of his no! invincibility. Oh, if he got the spike right there, I would have actually called him. He's, he might go out with a 30. The buzz seems lost right now, apart from getting a good jab there. But he needs something to happen right now if he wants any semblance of a chance to oh, go back in the yep. set. But Leo takes it once again, near to up air. What cannot, what, what can this man not do with a long sword? It's incredible. Yeah, Leo, that's actually funny that you mentioned that. Leo with any sword is just insane. <laughs>